I'm in the car, man, so I'm gonna vlog. Don't let me drown. What's going on, you lot? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Lydia, and I thought today, while I'm in the car on my own, I would just sit and talk to you a little bit about going out and dealing with social anxiety out in the community, out and about. And what better place for me to do it than in a car? Because I'm too socially awkward to go into a pharmacy. So, my grandparent, oh, my grandpa is currently in the pharmacy getting my medication and I wanted to talk to you a bit about anxiety and how it affects me. So I'm perfectly capable of talking to a camera. I really don't care what people think of me. They can judge me for it, whatever. I have really bad anxiety when it comes to physically talking to other people. And one thing people have a big misconception about is that if you have anxiety, you can't go out, you can't talk to people, you can't do whatever you need to do. And that is so wrong and so misinformed. It's unbelievable. When you're dealing with anxiety, stress, you know, depression, anything, it can be hard to do anything. And people have commented about this on Twitter saying, well, you can't be depressed because you do this. You can't be have anxiety because you, you do videos every day. I do videos every day because I can't why not be able to, and that's fair enough, but I can sit and talk to a camera, so I do. When it comes to my anxiety, I get very paranoid about what other people think of me. And if you follow me on Twitter, you know that. So what sets my anxiety? Thinking about what other people think of me. That's my anxiety. My anxiety is not talking to a camera. My anxiety is talking to other people, being judged by other people, feeling judged by other people. That's what sets my anxiety. When it's anxiety related to PTSD, which is related to trauma, my anxiety level skyrockets because I've been triggered into a flashback. And flashback anxiety is different to generalised anxiety. Flashback anxiety, you, you are visualising and visibly there in this traumatic incident and the anxiety is related to that incident it's not related to actual anxiety i hope that clears a few things up but anxiety can affect anyone any walks of life just because someone can do something and you can't they that does not mean they don't have that disorder that does not mean they don't have anxiety people show anxiety in different ways people show depression in different ways people show bipolar in different ways people show borderline personality in different ways people show schizophrenia in different ways and i had this conversation with my grandparents a few days ago because they was like well some people with schizophrenia are worse i was like actually no sometimes they can be really high functioning and function better in society than people with depression it, it depends on how severe it is it depends on the symptoms I will always say this, treat the symptoms, not the diagnosis. Um, anxiety for me is very much trauma-based and social. I don't really have generalised anxiety, but my anxiety levels are constantly high because of my PTSD. That is the little anxiety video that Lydia has made today in the car, because it's hot and I'm in here on my own. $87 to send that to me. My God, you're insane. You are insane, and I'm going to open that for my unboxing video which is going out today, and I'm so excited about it! Anxiety is different for absolutely everyone. No one shows it the same way, and I think that's the big message here. So yeah, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you didn't know, I just opened an Etsy store. That's that. My grandparents coming out, so I'm going to end this video here. I will see you guys soon. Peace. Never forget, anxiety and mental illness works differently for everybody. Bye, guys.